prayer theme perpetual help most holy and immaculate virgin and our mother mary you are our perpetual mother of perpetual help our refuge and our hope we come to you today we thank god for all the graces you have obtained for us mother of perpetual help we love you to show our love we promise to serve you always and to do all in our power to lead others to jesus your son mother of perpetual help powerful with god obtain through your intercession obtain for us these graces the strength to triumph over temptation a perfect love for jesus christ and a holy death so that we will live with you and your son for all eternity mother of perpetual help pray for us prayer of the assembly lord jesus christ at a word from mary your mother you changed water into wine at cana of galilee listen now to the people of god gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks o mother of perpetual help we call upon your most powerful name you are the safeguard of the living and the intercessor for the dying your name will always be on our lips especially in time of temptation and at the hour of death your name is confidence and power blessed lady help us whenever we call on you we will not be satisfied with merely pronouncing your name our daily lives will proclaim that you are truly our mother of perpetual help prayer in temporal wants o mother of perpetual help with the greatest confidence we kneel before you we implore your help in the problems of our daily life trials and sorrows often depress us reverses of fortune and painful privations bring misery into our lives everywhere we meet the cross have pity on us compassionate mother take care of our needs pray that we might be free from some of our sufferings or if it be the will of god that we should suffer still longer grant that we may endure all with love and patience these graces we ask trusting not in our merits but in your love and powerful intercession O oh, mother of perpetual help now i read <coughs> petitions we are praying this in this novena for a work life balance in workplaces for all workers that they may get time to spend with your son and their families for blessing of jobs for people <coughs> desperately looking for jobs for a peaceful work atmosphere in offices and deliverance from envy and negative influences in the work environment for recognition in workplaces with promotions and pay hikes to be able to clear all debts at the earliest for return to the sacraments and a disciplined way of life for young people for peace and unity in families to be able to get an important document to clear bank account for healthy pregnancy and safe delivery of baby for healing of a young child and courage for the parents for healing from stomach cancer psoriasis and for stable blood pressure for healing of people in the icu for deliverance from anger unforgiveness complaining and irritation for the gift of contentment and peace in young people to get possession of their own flat soon for protection of family during travel to be able to sell house and property without any complications for children to be able to complete phd to be able to form a tailoring unit to help poor women 
for removal of blocks and bondages in the marriages of young people, for our children to be blessed with good Catholic spouses, for healing and forgiveness in marriages, for removal of all kinds, all knots, and favorable final judgment for property litigation case, for return of money lost through scammers, for ending of the pandemic. I read for you two thanksgivings. Dearest Mother Mary, thank you for helping to get the proper pension sanctioned after going from one office to another for the past 15 years. Mother, obtain for him the grace to acknowledge God in all things. Another one reads, Dear Mother, thank you for helping my daughter in finding the missing bag at the airport. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us your beloved mother, who is always ready to intercede for us whenever we call on her. Please keep us safe under your motherly care, your loving child. Thank you, beloved mother. You have interceded with Jesus for me and brought healing in so many issues that were worrying me. I know you are always there for me, beloved mother. Inspired by these petitions and thanksgivings, let us continue to pray. Prayer of the Assembly, Petitions. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, the Pope, our bishops, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation and community. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant that all men and women may live as brothers and sisters in social peace and religious unity. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Grant that the Holy Spirit guide the sons and daughters of our Navina family in choosing their way of life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that the people of our Navina family retain their health and that the sick regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that all people may see the light of your truth and experience the warmth of your love. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that our consciences be stirred constantly to respond concretely with compassion to the needs of our wounded world. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that we may care for and protect God's creation. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that we may <coughs> promote and defend the human dignity and the sanctity of life in all stages. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant guidance and aid in all the special intentions of this novena and all the needs of those present. Hear us, <coughs> Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal rest to all the deceased novenites and to the souls of all the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us silently present our personal petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Now we give thanks. Accept, O oh Lord, our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. Accept our thanks for all the graces received from the sacramental life of the Church. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings given to our Novena family. We thank you, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us thank our mother of perpetual help for the favors we have received. Mary, from thy sacred image.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked on the humble estate of your servant, of his servant. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ and Mary, a few days ago, a young man, while traveling in a public bus, met with a tragic accident. He was sitting on a seat which was hit by a goods truck. The man's right hand was badly hit. Now he is being treated in the hospital. His hand is in a very critical condition. His family is very concerned about his situation, whether he can still use his right hand. Why do I narrate this incident, or rather accident? It reminds us of the hand of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help. My dear brothers and sisters, our hands are not only for work. They express our person. Our hands are so much of our communication. For people who cannot speak dumb or deaf, they communicate by gestures. Gestures replace the language expressed in words. Our hands express friendship. When we shake hands with someone, it is as if our heart goes and meet, meets the other person's heart. Warmth of our hand is felt by another person. It communicates friendship. On the other hand, Tight fist can express our anger and our enmity. But when we look at the icon of our mother of perpetual help, we are brought to another level of meaning. And this level of meaning is spiritual level of meaning. This painting, Our Mother of Perpetual Help, is a type of icon known as Hodegetria, Greek word, which means she who shows the way. How beautiful. She who shows the way. We experience, my dear brothers and sisters, when we give direction to someone, we use our hands. Go this way or come this way. So our mother is showing her son to the world for adoration, for imitation, so that we can become his disciples. Our mother Mary supports Jesus with her hand left hand and with her right hand she is showing her son Jesus. She is not clasping the hand of Jesus. On the other hand, when Jesus has a vision of the angels, 
and instruments of passion in their hands, he comes to the hand of Mary, placing her hand on, on her hand as if united with her. It is in this way Mary is connected with the mission of Jesus. So dear brothers and sisters, how beautiful it is. The message of the hand is, behold him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. As John chapter 14, 6, we read. So, in the same way, in the wedding of Cana, she points to Jesus and says to the servants, do what he tells you. Do what he tells you. Almost the last words coming from the mouth of Mary. So my dear brothers and sisters, this hand of Mary is a hand indicating, pointing to Jesus. To us who are busy in so many ways finding satisfaction, joy in our life. It is in this situation she points us to Jesus. Follow him. He will satisfy all your longings. So our hands are desperately looking for comfort. Only comfort is from Jesus. He is the one who is mercy and full of compassion towards us. It is to this compassionate Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, Mary is indicating. When Jesus dies on the cross, his hands are nailed to the cross. But Mary is there below the cross, receiving from Jesus message that she is our mother. Jesus says, Behold your mother. It is this message, my dear brothers and sisters, that this beautiful picture has because hand is at the center of the picture. First thing that catches our attention is the hand. Let us behold her and come to Jesus, the Redeemer and Savior of our life. And Together, remember the words of Mary, our mother, do what he tells you. Amen. Blessing of the sick. Let us pray. O Lord, o Lord look, look upon, upon your, your servants, servants laboring under bodily, bodily weakness. weakness. Cherish, Cherish and, and revive us, whom, whom you have created, created so that, that purified, purified by our sufferings, we may soon find ourselves healed by your, by your mercy. mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you, that he may protect you, and above you, that he may bless you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The faith of the assembly. O Mother, Mother of, of perpetual, perpetual help, help, you, you are, are both rich and, and generous. You, you plead for all the gifts that God, that God grants to us. You, you are, are the Mother, mother of hope for all, for all sinners. sinners. Come, Come then, dear Mother, mother for we turn to you. In your hands is Jesus our salvation. We too are in your hands. We are your children. Take care of us, dear Mother. For if you do, there is nothing to fear. From Christ you plead for the forgiveness of our sins. With Christ you are more powerful than all hell combined. With you on our side, we look forward to meeting our Redeemer. Jesus, your Son, and, and our, our brother, brother, our only fear is that, that in time of temptation, 
we may fail to call on you and become lost children. Obtain for us then, through your powerful intercession, the pardon of our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. <clears throat> the Great Hail Mary. Let us now unite with the Christians of all ages in praising Mary and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of, God, of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your Mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant that we who call on our help may always enjoy the fruit of our, your redemption. This we ask through you, who live and reign forever, ever. Amen. wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of thy passion. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of thy redemption. O livest and reignest world without end. Amen. the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints.
The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 